everyone, Chum Antin here. It's been a while since I made a video, so I thought I'd um, uh, let you in on some, some things I've been working on. So today I am in my lab working with the Checkpoint UTM 1-3070. Pardon, I'm recording this on my Android, so. Um, so this is a UTM from Checkpoint, um, and I've set up some basic policies just for it to go through the internet um, and uh, I'm just going to make some videos on how we can uh, configure this uh, this device now I have it in what's called a layer 2 bridge also known as bump on the wire or transparent bridge depending on how you want to um, describe it so pretty much I have my uh, router then there is a uh, the firewall and then a uh, switch <clears throat> so uh, it has no routing enabled on it it just uh, it comes from here so this is the inside interface it goes into the external or untrusted and then you got this going to my switch now uh, when you first boot this up uh, factory defaults I'm just going to wait for this auto focus here it, you'll have these buttons on the side so what you can do is um, set your management IP so just hit just uh, hit the arrows enter set your internal IP okay uh, just waiting for this to autofocus again okay and then you can just set your internal IP address, it'll ask for the subnet mask and default gateway. Okay, so uh, now I'll show you the web interface. Okay, so this is the web interface um, for the Checkpoint Firewall. Um, this is the Gala OS, so uh, you just punch in HTTPS and then the uh, internal IP you assigned it, so in this case it's 1.4. And I've already set up, um, I've already set up the portal. So pretty much, when you first log into this, you'll just have a wizard uh, that'll ask some basic questions, um, uh, asking some questions based on based on how, what topology you want and what licensing you bought for the checkpoint firewall. Okay, so just logging in. Okay, and I'm uh, just going to introduce you to the get to the portal here. So, on your left-hand side, you have option for advanced view or basic view. Okay, so I usually have it set to advanced, but if you have it on basic view, um, you'll be able to see your interface status. Uh, you'll see how much throughput is being pushed through the firewall at this time and what software blades are enabled. So right now it's just a firewall. I haven't configured the IPS or the VPN and anything yet. Uh, I'll, I'll show those in other videos. You'll be able on the left hand side to configure some basic things like time, uh, proxies if you're using any. Um, you'll be able to set uh, static ARPs, uh, DNS servers, static routes if you need some. Uh, and like I said, I have this in bridge mode, so no static routing uh, applies to me. Now, I'll just show you how to configure this in bridge mode, uh, actually. So basically, what you what I did was created a bridge. So you'll see that my I have external and internal, um, uh, internal and external interfaces, which I have. This is just my management, but I'm not using the the, the normal external internal. What I've done is use LAN port one and two and made a bridge interface. So what that allows is any frames ingressing into LAN one will egress untouched to LAN two. And then what happens is, is that um, if you've watched my Untangle videos, it works almost identical. So the traffic comes into uh, LAN 1 gets filtered up through all of these blades gets checked ripped open for the firewall the IPS and all and all that and then gets sent back out to uh, LAN 2 which will be uh, towards my LAN so to create the to create just a bridge interface 
you'll just click network interfaces okay click add bridge now uh, you'll choose two LAN ports that you want to be part of the bridge okay so let's just say six and seven for me okay now the bridge group okay uh, you'll select a bridge group say one two three whichever one you want and then something to describe it I won't click OK because I already have one okay and then once you click OK it'll create this interface so in my case is BR1 so if you click on BR1 you can assign it an IP which you don't really need to okay and if you click on bridge details you'll be able to see that land port 1 and land port 2 are part of this bridge okay now that you've created the bridge interface okay um, you will you will need to make a policy because by default checkpoints once you install like once you boot it up it's on kind of like a deny any any meaning no traffic goes in or out of this firewall so what you will need to do is you actually download uh, the smart console okay so once you go ahead and download the smart console uh, the checkpoint smart console okay uh, unfortunately it's only in Windows blah but I have a uh, Windows virtual machine here okay and now what once you uh, are in what you're going to do is first of all one thing I noticed right off the bat um, when in bridge mode you still need to tell the the checkpoint firewall uh, the checkpoint firewall first that you do have more than one interface uh, associated with this or else anti-spoofing won't work so to do that you click on uh, the box down here for checkpoint and it'll expand to the node okay right click and then go to edit my apologies it's not edit it's right click and go to give me a moment here oh sorry it is edit and then uh, expand topology okay and once you expand topology uh, you'll come here click get interfaces and then you can select the two interfaces that you've used to bridge as you can see 0.0.0 0.0.0 is the LAN interfaces uh, that's because it's in bridge mode of course what you also need to do is go once you've selected the interfaces you'll be put in and you have to tell the top uh, the topology what is in and what is out so by doing that uh, you just double click click topology okay and then you'll see here topology external which leads to the internet okay and then on your internal you'll say again topology internal leads to the local network and then you can actually click specific and you can select what address is or a policy so I just click all internet okay because this is in my lab internet so I just I have nothing uh, that I want to prevent from coming into my network you can make other policies which is more of an advanced uh, advanced feature but that we can cover in another video so once you've done that just click OK come up to policy and now this is where we'll have to do kind of like an access list t style any any type deal so you click policy click here on the very top and then you'll go rules add rule it doesn't matter what you kind of do here when it's the only rule that you have um, so we'll just say click bottom and then just any any for instance uh, you can do that and then what you want so you can say uh, for instance you want to permit the traffic or deny it so obviously because we we just want to allow any traffic at this time just permit any any now 
these are again these are the firewall rules so what you can do now is uh, this is where you'll create your rules like block export allow export stuff like that um, and that's something we can get to uh, in a different video okay and so I don't commit that change accidentally I'll delete that and once you have that uh, selected and once you've created that rule you'll want to install the rule so very top left hand corner click this again go to policy verify okay click OK and what this will do is it'll verify the policy that you're installing to make sure that it meets some basic requirements okay say yay it's okay and then uh, once again uh, actually in the very top here it'll say install policy just click install policy and they'll go ahead and install the and uh, install the policy for you okay and um, that's it so the next video I'll show you uh, the logging aspect of the checkpoint firewall um, checkpoint is one of my favorite enterprise level firewalls uh, I really like how granular it can get and uh, some of the advanced features. Uh, it's still one of my favorite paid for firewalls or my my favorite uh, firewall appliance. It also has a software appliance you can put into VMware and, um, and stuff like that. If you have any questions or comments about my video, please leave it comments in the section below. Please also visit my website, seanmancini.com. Thank you for watching everyone.